This is the Liquimix factory, and this is what we call Shed B. This area here is where our polyurea and our finished goods are stored. As you can see, we have many, many packs of Tuflon stored here. We have one forklift there. And in our packing area, we have a second forklift. Both of them are Linda's German made hydraulic drive. This is our packaging area where we shrink wrap pallets of goods with a shrink wrapping machine. Behind the forklift here, there's more storage of finished goods. And through this door on the other side, you can see what we call our shed A, which is where our trade shop and Graco sales are made and where the administration hangs out. The floor in here is fairly recently been um, recoated using Liquimix products. So there was a Civilox primer after the concrete was all ground with a Opalon polyaspartic top coat. And as you can see, it looks absolutely brilliant. So many finished goods. Then we walk through here into another section of our manufacturing plant, <clears throat> which is our shed B. And here we have all our paperwork. We have a high speed three phase disperser and this is the area where we mix various pigments and colors. And there we have a 3000 liter stainless steel tank. Looking down here, this is where most of our blending is done. And these are raw materials that are stored here various powders, liquids that are used in the process of manufacturing our epoxies and polyaspartics and polyureas. Many of these products we import directly from suppliers overseas or we buy them locally. There's empty containers there of course, we use lots of 20 litre open head metal pails, but we also use plastic bottles and drums. Down the back here is the tool bench where all the relevant tools are kept, nice and neat and tidy. We have a large air compressor here, screw compressor, which is fairly new. This one puts out 120 CFM and in shed A on the other side we have a second air compressor which is an 80 CFM so we have plenty of air. On this bench here are all our small additives. Generally we buy them from a company called BYK B -Y -K. And there are minor ingredients that go into the products. This is where all our pigments are kept. These are all dispersed on site. We have black, white, green, gray, almost any color you could think of. This is the workbench here for the factory manager. This is where he has his laptop. It's a mobile workbench. 
and he produces our products using special way batch systems which are here and we've decided to use Metla Toledo and we're in the middle of upgrading to very fancy systems as you can see it's Metla it soon will be hooked into our network here and will automatically know how much of each raw material has been added to a batch. Once again in this section here the floor has been coated with our Opalon polyaspartic and I think you can see this has been down now for two or three months how it resists marking and scuffing and is very very tough. Well that's uh, Shed B at Liquimix and I'll do another video on Shed A. The only thing I haven't done is walk through here which probably I should do just to complete the video and this is one of the offices It has a fridge, one of our chemists sits there, and the other chemist sits here, and we have a fridge. So this is where all the R&D think tank are. A little kitchen here, microwave. We go through here, there's a gentleman's toilet there. And going through here, it's a bit dark to see, we have storage of lots and lots and lots of our small raw materials in here. There's hundreds of samples over the years that we've kept here. So all these have been tested and are various parts of our manufacturing process, our R&D. And this year we actually claimed uh, quite a large proportion of R&D. This is, this is still in Shed B and this is our laboratory. So we have small accurate weighers. We have here a big drying recorder which gives you the dry time of various products. And we have here a strength tester. So you clamp, for example, you would clamp a piece of Teflon or Elaston in those drawers and then this top part moves up and records the strength at which the whole thing breaks. There's more samples here. Here we have a, visco a viscosity meter. There's more samples, more scales. And then we have our laboratory disperser. And all these things are incredibly expensive. You're talking about nearly $20,000 for this unit. So that's our lab, fairly simple. And once again, very well organized by Wolfgang. So that's it. Oh, one more thing for Shed B that I haven't done yet as I'm walking outside. I'm gonna walk back in this part that we've already seen. And I'll walk down here past our three and a half ton Linda. And what I didn't show you before around the corner here is our spray booth area. So this is a purpose built training and spray booth area. The floor again has been done with our polyaspartic, but this time it was a flake 
So this is what you call a flake floor. It is very grubby in here, it needs to be cleaned. They've just finished a large project, but with a bit of a scuff, it comes up beautifully. And this is what the flake flooring looks like. It's really, really nice. This has been down for two years now and it's still performing great. So there we have through here a spray booth with uh, a fans, etc. And that spray booth is, is where we do our small work or our training. And we have on the wall up here a pantograph boom which helps tremendously in keeping the hoses off the ground. So that's it. That's most of what we have at Liquimix. This is our uh, solar charging system. We have one solar charging system here and another one in the other shed, which dramatically reduces our solar and electricity costs. So that's it. <clears throat> Certainly neat and tidy. So that's where we've just walked from before, way down there. And there's another walkway through here. And this is looking right down towards the pigment mixing area again. Okay, well that's it. Next video will be Shed A, where all our Graco equipment, uh, small uh, finished goods are, and our office offices where the administration, sales, etc. happens. Okay.